Hey folks, Pastor Mark here. Uh, just summing up what we heard on Sunday. This Sunday we talked about the first four of the ten plagues. Uh, there's blood, there's flies, there's gnats, there's frogs. Probably the wrong order there, but those are the first four. And uh, we just were trying to look at what kind of God do we serve? Who is this God who can do these things? And now there's a lot that you can, you can get from that. Even some questions you can ask about the nature and character of God and, you know, why he did what he did. Uh, but what I get from it certainly is that, um, first of all, God is powerful, that he can make these things happen. You know, at the beginning, the introduction where uh, Aaron and Pharaoh's magicians have a showdown and Aaron throws his staff down, turns into a serpent. The magicians throw two staffs down. They turn into two smaller serpents and Aaron's serpent eats the other ones. That's a power move, folks. Uh, and even to be able to produce the blood and the gnats and the flies and the frogs, I can't do that. Like, that's not something I have the power to do. And even the magicians who probably were working with, um, like, occult practices, other gods, um, who are not gods really a, at all, uh, they couldn't reproduce when we got to the gnats. They couldn't do it. They said, this is the finger of God. So our God is powerful. And we look at Pharaoh and we see that he he did not take these things to heart. He did not listen and his heart was hardened. He hardened his heart. And so we need to be open to the power of God. Many times the power of God is in our lives, but we have a hard heart towards it. And so I hope that that helps you this week to know that God is powerful. Whatever situation you are in, God is powerful and uh, he's bigger than uh, than whatever we can come up with. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Our God is powerful. I hope that helps.